Hi everyone, this is Nino and herewith I present you the world's cheapest computer made out of standard components. The overall price for the hardware involved should be less than two US dollars. Today I checked on Alibaba and I am coming to about 180. Specifically, if you count together the brains of the machine, namely an 80 tiny 85 based board and its display device, the TM1637 based board, I am coming to $1.75 and the rest of the machine consists out of a couple of push buttons, an empty fig box which you can substitute to anything you like, and a couple of resistors which are forming the resistor ladder which I'm using for input, as well as a battery clip. So the entire usable device, not just the board itself, is under two dollars. Now, why would anyone make such a thing? You may laugh, but I had a bit of an idealistic purpose. See, I believe children should have access to computers and I read that in, well, some poorest part of the world, this is still not the case, as even the cheapest computers, even if they are accessible to adults there, are not something which commonly a kid could lay its fingers on. And for teaching, sometimes even paper computers are used, but not for the academical purpose alone, that you see exactly how a computer would be working and exactly how it would be doing its computations, but simply due to a lack of hardware. And I was thinking, what is the cheapest thing I can come up with? And it is this. Now, what does this thing run? It runs the Evo programming environment slash virtual machine slash programming language, which I have presented in past videos. And it can do essentially anything you would normally expect a Turing complete device to do. It can run programming steps, it can loop, it can do conditional branching. And when it does that, it will show what it is doing on its display. And despite the display having only four digits and a colon, which I think is pretty much the cheapest sort of display you can acquire, um, <laughs> it is still useful if you, for instance, blink the display, which is the solution I came up with, and show simply the number in two halves. You first show its first four positions, then its second four positions, and you can use the colon in order to show that the number is negative, otherwise it being positive. And that actually allows you for a pretty decent machine. I would like to stress again, this is not a mere calculator. This actually can run multiple programming steps which you can set. And while it runs, it will actually trace its execution and show it on this display. Now, for a quick demonstration, I just propose we enter a number and add it to itself with a just one step program, but it will show you uh, the most important parts of how this thing is working. First of all, we're going to connect it to a nine volt battery over its power clip. And there we go. So the microcontroller lit up and so did the display. This one, 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 one is its prompt inviting us to enter a command, then it will invite us to enter an operation, then a first address, then a second address. We will enter as a command, however, an interpreter command, namely minus four, which means enter address and datum. We are having 63 positions for numbers and 251 for instructions of which the first 63 are actually more easily usable. The datum zero is always zero. Instruction zero, which we will be using, means immediate execution that is uh, basically interpreter mode. Now, we say four. You see it blinks twice to show us that it's just a number four. There is nothing before it, therefore it was zeros. We turn it into a negative four. Yeah, you see here the column lit up, the column lit up, and therefore it knows that we want to enter data. We enter that. Now it prompts us, it shows us it got the command and it is now prompting us to tell the address. 
and the address, let's say on data position four, or let's say seven, so it's different from before. So on data position four, seven, oh, zero, 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 seven, yeah, James. Uh, <laughs> We're going to enter that. So on data position seven, yes. We are going to enter as datum, let's say 99. Hmm? Going to enter nine and nine, come on. So there we have it, 99. We enter that. And it will again invite us with one, 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 one to enter the next operation, which we will do. We will demand it to add it. So uh, command zero, because we wanted to do it immediately. So command position zero, like programming step zero. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, yeah, enter that. Now, it will ask us 2222, which operand? Addition is number nine. So we will say operand nine, enter. And now it will ask us the addresses of the two operands and store the result in the first address. The address was number seven, enter. And the second operand is again number seven because, yeah, we add it to itself. And now you'll quickly see how it will flash and show 0009, which means that uh, it is executing in, uh, in command address zero, the instruction nine. It accepted it, executed it. And this is again inviting us to enter a new operation. So you see, we just ran a program of one instruction, like add two numbers. And now we can observe our result with minus two, two, minus. Okay, we enter that. It will now ask us with 5555, five, 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 where would we want to observe our number? We say at address seven, say, okay, it accepts that. And uh, yeah, enter. And it will now show us the result of 198. See? and invites us to do the next operation. So you see this thing is in fact running just like you would expect from any computer. And it is made with the cheapest materials possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to, to see you soon again. Have a great day. Goodbye.